bodies. All that they found were fragments. Ellos fueron enterrados en una parte y después los sacaron. Y nosotros lo que hemos encontrado son restos de restos. O sea, no es, no es gran cosa. Son pedacitos, son vértebras, son falanges, uñas, piezas molares. Today, this memorial marks the exact spot where their search ended. But in a desert that preserves the dead like nowhere else, a mystery remained. Why did they fail to find whole bodies in the sand? Eventually, in 2007, more than 30 years after the men disappeared, Witnesses came forward to explain the mystery. The women finally learned the truth. A few months after the executions, realizing the desert would preserve the evidence of their crimes, the military had returned to the mass grave. They dug up the human remains using bulldozers. They loaded them into a transport plane and dumped them into the sea. We may never know precisely what inhumanities happened here that night. Yet the women of Kalama are relentless in their search for answers. Atacama tests the human heart. But the challenges are at their most extreme, at its western edge. The world's driest desert sits right next to a vast body of water. Along the Pacific coast, a string of small settlements are fighting for survival. At the edge of the continent, communities like Chanavaya are so remote, they can feel as though they've been forgotten. The river Loa sweeps into the sea here, or would do if it had not been so depleted by industry upstream. What little water does trickle through is heavily polluted. So Chanavaya has to depend on water brought in by truck, and for weeks the vital delivery simply hasn't shown up. Lo más importante es el agua. El camión no puede estar más de 10 días sin venir a la población porque eso me va a obligar a declarar la población insalubre. Matters are desperate, and the authorities aren't returning their calls. No sé, pues, increíble. But today sees an electioneering visit by the district mayor. Electoral coincidence or not, earlier this morning, for the first time in 27 days, the water truck finally arrived. Chanavaya needs champions. Unfortunately, it has a very gutsy one. Sonia Moreno counts herself as lucky to have grown up here. It was a community that valued education. And inspired by her coastal childhood, she went on to graduate as a marine biologist. But now she's left a successful career in the city to join the fight for Chanavaya's future. Esto es una caleta muy emblemática en esta región. Es una caleta que no tiene problemas sociales, droga, alcohol, prostitución, delincuencia. La única de las ocho caletas del borde costero. Y es porque los pobladores están educados. Y yo pienso que con la educación de ellos vamos a llegar más lejos. Sonia takes pride in the small steps that Chanavaya has taken to help itself. Ya empezamos próximamente a instaurar las energías renovables por las calles, a iluminarle las calles para demostrarle a la autoridad que con buena voluntad sí podemos hacer una caleta sostenible y sustentable.
one natural resource that's always been available here is fish. Ellos en estos momentos, como ustedes están viendo, están pelando lo, los peces de la noche. Estos esquelones se guardan, se raspan para hacer ceviche. Y con estas cabezas, ellos hacen una sopa que es un caldillo. Todo se, todo se utiliza. But nowadays, even cleaning and cooking the fish is a problem. The area's scarce water is so polluted. One solution is to use the scales of the fish themselves to filter out pollutants in a process called biosorption. Entonces, hay que educar a las comunidades para que sepan utilizar las escamas para poder limpiar las aguas de contaminación de arsénico, que es una problemática muy común en todas las zonas rurales y también zonas urbanas de la zona norte de Chile. But there's no guarantee that Chanavaya will continue to get even the little water it does receive. Along the coast, it has a competitor for supply. These industrial reservoirs will be left to evaporate and their copper residue exported. Sonia feels Chanavaya has been left high and dry. Hoy en día no existe nada. Y esto, digamos, es debido, no al calentamiento global, esto es debido a la mano del hombre. El hombre está utilizando las aguas en las minerías y así como va mermando la vida de las poblaciones, también de la naturaleza. Sonia sees multinationals buying up the water with profits boosted by Chile's low tax rates, whilst Chanavaya is drained of social investment. Y nosotros hoy en día no estamos, no tenemos voto en decir no queremos esto. Esta, esta mortandad no la queremos para nuestras futuras generaciones. Nosotros queremos un medio ambiente con agua, con flora, con fauna. For Chanavaya, every drop is precious. Locally, it's pioneering a scheme to scoop water out of thin air. These nets catch condensation from coastal fog. The droplets are piped down to the town below. Sonia is always keen to demonstrate the system to others who may adopt it across the region. It's all very low-tech, and it's just a start. But for Sonia, even such a small-scale community project is important. It's a sign that she was right to come home and make a stand. Yo amo vivir en Chanavaya. Esto es impagable, la tranquilidad, el mar ahí mismo. Entonces, debemos luchar para no perderlo, para poder tener nuestra generación futura aquí. Lo bueno de todo esto que nuestros chicos, los jóvenes, son los que han ido creando la conciencia ecológica. Chanavaya's struggle for survival continues. Not far away, the quest for water has quite a different meaning. Perched 2,600 meters above the coastal plain is one of the most important scientific research centers in the world. Here, at the European Southern Observatory, astronomers are searching distant galaxies. This is an internationally funded venture, a scientific oasis. Every night here is another working day. Nuestras vías están totalmente desplazadas aquí en el observatorio. Entonces tenemos que dormir las 7 y las 2 de la tarde. A las 2 nos levantamos, venimos a tomar eh, desayuno y este es el primero de una larga serie de cafés. Hay que mantenerse despierto de alguna manera, especialmente al final del turno. Fernando Salman needs to stay alert. He's working with the world's most advanced optical instrument. It's a complex system of mirrors which can see further into space than humanity ever has before. It's so powerful that it can distinguish distant images as small and as dim as the headlights of a car on the moon would be to the naked eye. Despite all that, it has a curiously unscientific name, 
the VLT, the Very Large Telescope. The VLT allows scientists here to study the molecular makeup of planets in other solar systems. Hace mucho tiempo se descubrió que cada elemento emite luz en, de un color particular. Si tú tomas sal en tu cocina y la pones en la llama del, del gas, eso va, va a emitir una luz amarilla muy fuerte. Entonces cada elemento tiene una firma propia. Y tú estudias los colores del objeto, tú puedes determinar si están presentes esos elementos. Uno de estos elementos es agua. For astronomers, the search for water on distant planets is the holy grail. Where there is water, there may be life. And perhaps an answer to the fundamental question, are we alone in the universe? The Atacama is the ideal place to search for evidence. Humidity levels here are so low, there's little danger of atmospheric moisture giving a false reading. Es una paradoja que justamente la, la sequedad y la falta de agua en este lugar y la poca capacidad de sostener vida que hay en este lugar es lo que hace este lugar el ideal para descubrir agua y vida en otros planetas. The Atacama is so dry but NASA road tests its Martian explorer here. Parts of this desert are effectively sterile. Not even bacteria can survive in the soil. It's the closest thing to Mars on Earth. And if NASA's probe can search out life here, it's mission ready to find life on other planets. By exploring the limits of life on Earth, Astrobiologists are hoping to learn more about how life may survive on other worlds. And there are some promising indicators. Parece haber agua en todas partes, de hecho. Está presente hasta en la Luna, se está presente en los cometas, en los asteroides, en las lunas de Júpiter, de Saturno. Incluso está presente alrededor de agujeros negros en galaxias muy lejanas. El agua está en todas partes. But Fernando knows the presence of water is not enough. To sustain life, it must exist in a stable form. Si no tuviésemos agua en estado líquido aquí en este planeta, la vida no sería posible. No nos basta con el vapor. While the ultimate question about life on other planets remains unanswered, this unique desert location is a daily reminder to the scientists here that our home in the universe is a very special one. Planetas exactamente como la Tierra nos han encontrado. Es una de las labores que pienso que debemos dedicarle tiempo el, en dif, difundir este conocimiento que el, el, nuestro planeta es único. The Atacama, the driest desert. This place lays bare the most fundamental questions facing humanity. Questions about the world and our place in it. No one here can afford to take even the most basic necessities for granted. And yet it's a place where fortunes can be found and extracted. It reminds us that how we enrich our lives and what we pass on to our children, these are choices about the use of scarce resources. If what sustains life is worth pursuing to the ends of the universe, and if what denies life is worth exposing no matter what the cost, the Atacama reveals in the clearest possible light how the balance of nature rests in our hands.